learn that song just so I can sing it at least once in my life. But uh, all right, folks, we're here, we're ready to go. It's the ASL Prime Season Six North American Qualifiers. Now, I believe unless something has changed, it's top two that will get through this. If you haven't seen their brackets for the overall event, you can find it on the Liquipedia page. But it's worth noting there are a lot of really notable people already qualified through. So these qualifiers will find out the people coming up to challenge them this season. Um, Rifkin, you're watching this, and of course, Zombie Grub is back. And without further Hello. ado, in the bottom right corner of the map, we've got the blue Terran, Psystorm Gaming's Rough. In the top left, as the red Zerg, it's Sulky. Alright, now I think it we don't even need to try and pamper you guys into this. Sulky is the clear favorite coming into this. He's played many a tournament on North America. He's a phenomenal Zerg player. But can he deal with Rough? Because some of you might not know Ruff. Some of you have probably heard us reference Ruff many, many times in our casts, but we don't actually get to watch him that often. And something Ruff is uh, quite good at is playing a bit odd, I guess we could say. Yeah. Yep. Um, so I guess it used to be that we would always describe Lily Canine as the Ruff of EU, but he's kind of swapped. You know, Lily Canine, he got better overall, and he just started casting him, like, a ton. So I feel like everyone on Base TV recognizes that name a lot more than Ruff. But just kind of, you know, think of it in reverse. I, you know, they still do different types of cheeses, but the same idea. Uh, a lot of their wins do come from just being, like, you know, getting their opponents caught off guard by wacky stuff. And uh, I don't know, Ruff... Uh, <laughs> I feel like there is a high possibility of, of um, screwing over Zerg, basically. Like, I think Terran <laughs> has the easiest time against weird shit, um, especially in the mid-game. Uh, Protoss has an easier time now. They had the Mothership core before. It was actually pretty difficult. But Zerg, you know, it's very dependent. Like, they have to know what's going on to drone or to make units. If they make either one at the wrong time, then they're going to fall behind or just straight up lose the game. Yeah. But... You know, all that said, Sulky is, I mean, I <laughs> I don't think he knows who Ruff is, to be honest, but I don't so, think he's going to die. I want to talk about the very odd opening we have out of Ruff, and it's going to be four, four Reapers out of two racks with reactors. So already this is going to be weird, and that's cool, and whatever. I'm more interested in this engineering bay. Now, this might just be because he's going you know, to worry about not having anti-air later, and you throw it on the missile turret, but I'm wondering if he's going to do some sort of weird plus one to go with these Reapers. If that's the case, we've never actually seen plus one come into a factor, so I don't know if there's that critical dynamic of like, okay, five Reapers with plus one can suddenly six shot a queen instead of five shot, or vice versa, right? Like, this is going to be kind of cool to see. So he is going to go for plus one with this. I'm not sure. Um, he might take on Reapers. He might transfer over into double pumped Marines for what is going to be a much later, like, surprise Marine attack. But, uh, okay, so Sulky sees this finally. <laughs> So, actually, I'm thinking about this more and more. I really like the idea of plus one, right? Because Reapers shoot twice. Some people don't know this. So, you're going to get double the benefit out of these upgrades. Like, that's going to go from eight damage to ten damage with each Reaper. Okay. Uh, that <laughs> is going Why to be there? a proxy yeah. planetary fortress. Isn't lift that? I'm pretty oh, positive no. that's going to be a proxy okay. planetary fortress. Now, the All question right. is, where does he put it and Why? Okay, so he, this is something he did on Catalina back in the day, believe it or not. And he would actually ideally get an SCV or two up into the main base while doing all the Reaper harassment. But, I mean, it almost looks troll, like you actually do it in front of their face. But that's not really possible here. There's not enough room with all the creeps spread in Frozen Temple. You know... Um, and if, I just don't know what it's really going to go to. If he puts that command center just on the edge of Creep even, right? Like, that's... <laughs> we talk about the bunker often made for the Reapers to safely hide out to and heal up. The command center is going to be the ultimate, <laughs> the ultimate way to repair and heal up. It just, it it costs so much. It does. I and mean, there's a second command center on the way, the macro one. Okay, make no mistake. I mean, this is this is in every way a bit of an all-in. But what's interesting to me that goes even one step further is these plus one weapons once again coming into play on what is going to be the roaches. Now we actually know reapers and roaches. Reapers win thanks to their grenade effect. So worth noting, this grenade hits for ten damage to everything around it. But now the reapers will too. And let's say Ruff has twelve reapers, hundred and twenty damage per volley. Just consider that for a moment, uh <laughs> like. Okay, so what Sulky's doing is what you would do against a Reaper build to begin with, like get to Roaches and even get a Nidus Worm. Like, if you wanna if you wanna kill um, your opponents instead of playing a macro game, and he's this is the first time he's gonna see the planetary. He wasn't anticipating the creep spread, even right. though like his creepers Reapers have been scouting it. Right, so he's gonna throw grenades down, and he actually does kill the creeper without a scan. There's still that this one here though. Though. 
I don't know. Um, this is so cool. I mean, I want this to work so badly, but Sulky's going for a Natus Worm behind this. He's not really focused on fighting rough at home, and he's more thinking about fighting rough across the map. But that plus one weapons is done, and look how fast that first roach went down. There's so many damn Reapers. He's getting three more barracks behind this. He has vision over his entire base, tumor. so he would see the Nidus Worm, but there's nothing he can really do about it. I could build four Reapers at a time. Well, yeah. Well, okay, so I think it's less about doing something about the Nidus Worm and more just doing something about the ints that would go into the Nidus Worm. Like, I don't think anything's really going to pop out of there. That's oh actually true. Look at that one roach stuck <laughs> on the ramp. The grenade's actually choking in, and Sulky loses most of his army. <laughs> This gets so wacky wild and weird in the command center, of course, providing high ground vision. That SV not repairing because he is busy looking at home. We oh, did okay. have units actually come out of this, but this planetary, unfortunately, is not going up anytime soon. And, you know, if Sulky had done Repair. anything, if he had done anything other than a Nidus Worm, I actually yeah. think Ruff would have made this work. Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. I, I think that, like, if he had brought more <laughs> SCDs over, I think the planetary living, and it would have been a base trade, mind you. Yeah. Like, base could have lives. something. Because, yeah, you just lift everything and hope that you have enough, like, gas, I suppose, to the factor here, but, well, um... <laughs> hopefully now those who have never seen us actually cast rough understand why we regularly refer to it when we're talking about weird and janky builds. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is gonna be game. Unfortunately, he just lift everything back at home. He's got no more production, no more money. He's just got the reapers he currently has to fight with, and I, I just, I want to say the thing I like most about this wasn't the planetary. It was the plus one. But GG Sulky takes this first game in a best of three. Uh, we did have a five dollar donation from Crusher of Cities at the end of it, by the way. He says, Riff, I want you to ignore all the hurtful things other people are saying about your stash and listen to the hurtful things I am saying about your stash. Hashtag shave it, hashtag always shave April, hashtag upper lip matters, hashtag Chris Hansen, and hashtag why don't you have a seeds? That is a really mean donation message. I just want to say, like, that is a really mean donation message. So why are you, why do you still have the mustache? Did you know people vote to save it? Yeah, we got like five donations that all said huh. save it and zero that said shave it. That's actually the first donation we've had that says shave it. I mean, I'm pretty aware that like I'm not gonna have this thing forever, <laughs> but like I figure when I have some fun with it. So I mean, that is the first you, hashtag shave it donation we've gotten. If you could wait till Dream Hack, we could just do like a like a um, shave it live. <laughs> Well, yeah, shave it live. Well, it's something like a spa day, right? Because I'm also going to get my hair dyed, apparently. You're getting your uh, hair dyed? What color? Olivia's going to help me. Um, pe I put up a poll, and, you know, ultimately I, let it, I allowed it to Olivia to decide, but dark red seems to be the consensus. I knew. I don't think you should go dark red. Like, that's just the opinion here. I don't count in this poll, obviously, but I don't know. I, I thought you were going to say something closer to, like, an actual blonde, like a blonde blonde or something, but... Dark red, uh, that's gonna be tough, man. That's gonna be like no regret. Just don't, <laughs> no regret. And a lyric or whatever. I don't think that's 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 the color that you're thinking of. No, no, no regret. In purple, obviously, it's not the color I'm thinking of. But what I mean is, you're gonna dye it and be like, I I immediately regret this decision. <laughs> like... I don't know. That was a really dumb color that he dyed. This one is supposed <laughs> to be like you know, only a shade darker and a shade different than my hair right now. Well, I'm excited to see what it looks like. We're gonna hop into a rain up. We'll see you guys here in just a sec. All right, we're going to hop into game number two in this first best of three today. Uh, hopefully, fingers are crossed, Steadfast has his match held, because I'd definitely love to give Dave some love after this. But uh, we're going to hop into game number two right now. Quick note, Ruff is streaming, so even if he loses this, he may be able to, you may be able to catch some of his weird builds on his stream afterwards. Worth checking out there on Team Liquid. But in the upper left side of Arena, we've got the blue Terran taking that gas first. <laughs> it's rough. In the bottom left, as the red zerg, it is Sulky. So it's kind of funny. You, you mentioned this last game, but I didn't bring it up. Um, I wanted to, but it, how we often times refer to Lilikinin as the, the rough of Europe. But then we refer to rough as the Lilikinin of North America. And it's kind of like, do we ever refer to them as just them? <laughs> nope. 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 Not allowed well, to have an identity. Time, people didn't know, okay? And you had to explain one with the other. Now people know Lily Kinnean, and well, now they know Ruff. It's funny, because Ruff is probably the most well-known, as far as being notorious goes, amongst the players. But it really is, yeah, unfortunate, because we don't get to see him in too many tournaments too often. Mm. Well, uh, Sulky, it's kind of what I anticipated happening last game happens. Um, not the proxy planetary, but just, it, it seems to be like when <laughs> the players that rely on really weird shit... 
uh, face someone that is as good as Sulky. Like they, it, they never seem to be caught off guard. Um, and I, I don't know what it is, honestly. So Sulky didn't really scout what was going on. He saw mass reapers, but he had no idea about the planetary. Like he had no idea how many reapers was going to be behind it. I think the creep stud was just the consequence of good macro, and that build from Rough doing that like really works best against not good players. It's <laughs> the best way I can think to describe it. But I was also going to comment, this has been a trend for a while, and this has actually, from what I understand, really gone downhill since Legacy of the Void, but on Korea, games are generally more cheesy anyways. You see a lot more like attempts at just quick racks victories on the Korean ladder than you would on, say, North America type thing. So it could just be years of practice of Soul Key, knowing like, okay, <laughs> like I haven't seen this a hundred times today. <laughs> I don't know about that specific thing. Like, certainly, yeah, cheese happens a lot on uh, any server, I suppose. But Korean servers, like, I feel like the two racks, right, is always, like, a Korean thing. It was, like, the Koreans could do it the best, but now it's dead. But regardless, I think it is just, like, good macro and, and good game sense. Like, as you said, the creep sort is a pretty big deal, but it was just a consequence. It wasn't a, uh, like, because he knew it was going on. But, yeah, you're zooming in on the two factories, which <laughs> doesn't surprise me. No, I, like... I'm a, I'm a man who likes a good factory or two, and I like mech, which Ruff has been known to play. But I'm curious to see how he plans to use it, because in every way possible, I look at this and think, man, you know what? A medevac to carry those tanks around would probably be far superior than multiple tanks. Which it's not going to be. There's going to be a lot of hellings right off the bat. Interesting. I thought it was going to be a double a second uh, tech lab. But other side of the map, Solki has a pretty regular opening. There's really nothing too crazy going on over here. He's got extra queens, which is good. His creep threats out, so he's not going to worry about rough building anything in his own base. But, uh, you know, too many times we've seen siege tanks be able to take advantage of this ledge, so just maybe. Yeah. I mean, again, rough decisively lost that game, but I would like this to once again bring attention to how close it was to actually working. Like, really almost if Sulky was like a slightly worse player that game would have gone in Ruff's favor yeah if the creature wasn't down if the SV or two SVs had been repairing the planetary that thing would have added a lot of damage and a lot of potential but everything went like it did uh you're absolutely right about this map and tanks so a push like this will be scary no matter what Sulky is doing and Sulky is going for something that's not going to help out right now but eventually will be really nice to pick off you know tanks and, and things that don't shoot up yeah. Uh, real quick, got a donation coming from Crusher of Cities. Six dollars. It says, change my mind. Keep it until Dreamhack Austin. And please send some live tweets from Olikens, Harry's, or the Iron Bear. Cheapest drinks in town, I promise. Zombie up, thumbs up. Team Stash. See, this is the problem. Like, I talk about wanting to shave it, then everyone changes their opinion where they're like, nope, I want you to keep it now. It's just like a troll Rifkin situation. I can't win. If I said I wanted well, you to keep could just, sash? You could just decide outside of Twitch chat. Yeah, but that's less fun. Oh, okay. All right, uh, so Marine's going to be stuttering forward here with these Hellions. A little bit surprising. The Hellions need to be kept alive to deal with those things. But SCVs are pulled with this. There's tanks in that front line. Rough getting surrounded is not great to begin with. Lots more links coming where this came from. And I kind of feel like Sulky is more than equipped to deal with this. If there's more Marines, Marines left alive, they can keep these tanks alive. But they are going to die oh. to the combination of Queens and Lings and friendly fire. And, well... That was a great attempt that, again, I feel would work against lesser players, but Sulky had so many lings. Yeah, he was already pretty prepared. Um, it's probably going to be game soon, I think as there isn't much anti-air. The best and way by I can, much, I mean any. The best way I can think to describe this for Sulky is not that he's got like a super sixth like, sense and he knows exactly what's going on, but it's just you know you're playing against rough, so it's not about making the correct units necessary as it is making units and just not droning like a greedy son of a bitch. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that's where we see a lot of Zerg players die to just regular Heli and macro play too. When they get caught off guard because they accidentally drone too much. They thought, oh, I misread the situation. I didn't expect six Hellions. But yeah, yeah. you deserve it. That's going to be game. That's going to be serious. GG. Sulky GG. takes the series. But okay, uh, we're going to use this time to try and figure out what's going on there with Steadfast. Maybe he got a game versus Smile, or maybe it is still just strictly uh, him getting the walkover. The walkover. All right, uh, so we're going to go to a small break then while we figure out what's going on with this series. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you guys in two minutes.